I'm unboxing my bi-monthly preview shipment from mycommonshot.com. Y'all already know it's filled with keys. What's up, Spec Nation? Empire Comics here. In this video, we're gonna unbox my bi-monthly preview shipment that I get from mycommonshop.com. I know it's loaded with a bunch of keys, plus a few books I might've missed over the last few new comic book days. But first, if you like hunting for low budget keys, weekly comic book hauls, CGC unboxings, and new comic book day specs, then click subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. All right, let's just jump into this. Open this up. Whoa, it's pretty big. All right, let's get this out the way. All right, first one up is Secret Avengers issue one. Uh, this is the first team appearance of the Secret Avengers. It has Moon Knight, Nova, Black Widow, Captain America, Valkyrie, Beast, and War Machine. Will we see that in MCU? I mean, you never know. It's also the first appearance of the Shadow Council. And we got two of them right here. All right, the next one we have is Astonishing Spider-Man and Wolverine issue one. Um, this has the first appearance of Doom the Living Planet. With everything going on with Last Annihilation, with Doom and the Guardians of the Galaxy, and him supposed to be playing a big part in that, and Ego the Living Planet in that storyline, I thought it might be a good idea to grab a copy of this. Next one is all right, Fantastic Four 278. This one here has uh, the origin of Doom, one of the many books that have the origin of Doom. This one talks about how his face got disfigured and a little bit about his armor. All right, the next one we have is uh, Spider-Woman 44. Shout out to Swaggle Hoss. He pointed out how this is basically the first uh, cover appearance of the phone. That's his hand right there. All right, next one is Doom War issue one. This is the battle between Doom and Wakanda. All right, and the next one is Dr. Doom and the Masters of Evil, issue one. If you can't tell, I'm grabbing a lot of Doom books right now. All right, next one, War of the Bounty Hunters, issue two, uh, headshot variant. Don't know why I got another one of those. All right, here we go, Secret Wars, issue five. I believe I've grabbed all of the Secret Wars here. Flip over. All right, Secret War number six. When we do get Secret Wars, I think this is where they're gonna pull from. Secret Wars number seven. This is how they could bring in all the other Marvel properties from Fox and Sony and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., etc. They could pick and choose what they actually want, all the good pieces and bring it through. And what else did this Secret Wars bring to the 616? Miles. All right, next one. Secret Wars four. Right there. Secret Wars 3, and then Secret Wars 2. This one has the first appearance of God Emperor Doom. And then we got Secret Wars issue one. All right. Okay, another Secret Wars issue one. I should have got another one of issue two. All right, next one is Guardians of the Galaxy issue 39 from volume one with an embossed cover of Wolverine's uh, skeleton there. Pretty cool. That has the first appearance of one of Wolverine's descendants in an alternate reality. Plus it has that double cover. All right, next one is All New All Different Avengers issue one. It's the first team appearance of that Avengers team. It's probably like my fifth copy, but when you could get it for like two or three dollars, why not? All right, let's get all this out of here. All right, the next one is Cable issue 12. I believe that's the end of that story arc, maybe. But it's a cool connecting cover with issue 11 with uh, Kid Cable. And we have Spider Force issue one. Uh, this has the first appearance of Spider Kid and the first appearance of Astro Spider. The next one is Realm of Kings issue one. This has the first appearance of the Cancelverse. Not Cancel, Cancerverse. All right, the next one I have is Guardians of the Galaxy Annual two. This has the first appearance of the Galactic Guardians, which are the Spirits of Vengeance, Fire Lord, Replica, Mainframe, Phoenix, and did I say Fire Lord? If not, Fire Lord. Oh, Hollywood. All right, next one is Guardians of the Galaxy Annual One. This has the first appearance of Kruger, the Sorcerer Supreme of the 31st century. All right, next one is Guardians of the Galaxy Issue 12. This has the first appearance of the Spirits of Vengeance of the 31st century. All right, next one is S.H.I.E.L.D. issue nine. This has the first appearance of the Howling Commandos. And, all right, Avengers Mech Strike issue five. This one just came out like two weeks ago. 
Got Kang on the cover with that. Next one, okay. All right, Uncanny Humans issue four. We got Kang right there on the cover. Got another one of those. Okay, Spawn issue 320. Missed that one on New Comic Book Day. And another 320, this is the paying homage to Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 319. All right, next one is Nova issue two. This has the first meeting between Richard Ryder Nova and Sam Alexander Nova. And I got another one of those. You guys could definitely find these for two to three dollars out there in the back issue bins. All right, let's open this big boy up. One. All right, I already flipped these over just to get these in somewhat of an order to help the video go through faster. These first ones here are Suicide Squad Get Joker, issue one. I didn't know these were that big, but these are some pretty nice covers. This next one is Thor Annual 10. This has the first appearance of Gaia and the first appearance of Apollo. Shout out to Swaggo Hoss. He brought this up in one of his recent videos on how they might bring a lot of these God characters into Thor 4. All right, the next one is Black Panther issue one. This has the first appearance of Zenzi, a mutant from Wakanda that affects the people's emotions. All right, next one up is Doctor Doom issue six. You already know I got this for Kang right there on the cover. The next one is Infinity Wars issue four. This has the first appearance of Kamala Kang. Kamala Khan warp, warped with Kang. And then we got the variant cover with her right there. dope all right more Kang spec Avengers issue 3 from back in the day with Rob Liefeld and of course another one all new Avengers issue 1 with the first appearance of that Avengers team all right now on to the newer books we got Department of Truth issue 11 is it yeah 11 Black Widow issue 9 Berserker issue four, cover A. And then we got the foil cover. Here's cover B. And the foil variant. Then we have Nottingham issue five. Then we got white issue one, cover B. I've heard good things about this one, so I'm dying to jump into it. And then we have Shadecraft issue five. This is probably the last one I grabbed for Shadecraft. Okay. King Grimlock issue one, cover A. I'm a huge Transformer and Grimlock fan. And here we have Batman Secret Files issue one, The Huntress. Then we have Batman Superman issue 20 with the Jenny Frizen cover. Then we have Black Cat issue eight, Infinity Score part one. And the Peach Momoko variant. Then we have Icon and Rocket season one. Season one? Yeah, season one, issue one. Next one is Shang-Chi issue three with Wolverine right there. Star Wars The High Republic issue seven. I got two of those for the cover. Superman Son of Kal-El issue one. Got two of those. And then uh, cover B. Then we have Teen Titans Academy issue five with the origins of uh, Brat Girl, Chupacabra, and Mega Bat. Mega Bat. And then we have Cover B. Then we have United States of Captain America issue two with the first appearance of Nichelle Wright, the Captain America of Harrisburg. All right, Not All Robots issue one from AWA. And uh, Spirits of Vengeance, Spirit Rider issue one, Cover B. Got two of those there. All right, guys, that's all the books I have for this haul. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the books I picked up. I think there's some good spec in there. All right, y'all, till next time. Keep hunting. Later.